your girl K Flow with another episode of uh, K Flow COVID Chronicles. So the question came to my mind yesterday, and I didn't know where this thought came from because I didn't have any particular person or situation in mind, and I was wondering where, like, where did this thought even like who put this thought in my head? And then I remembered I've been watching um, Ready to Love. I think I saw that three times this weekend. Uh, Black Love. Phenomenal show. If you have not seen Black Love, Black Love is some is a show that I think everybody needs to see. I don't care your age, your race, your gender preference. Uh, Black Love is a show like you you need to watch that. It's on the Oprah Winfrey Network. Awesome show. Um. So the question is, what is your value? What are you worth? Uh, how do you treat your temple? How do you treat your body? How do you, you know, who are you? Um, are you in a house or an apartment? And I don't mean to devalue anyone living in an apartment. That's not the point. So erase that. This doesn't have anything to do with that. This is more about uh, value in the two. And you know that a house has more value than an apartment. Unless you're buying the apartment. Now, so when you buy a house, you got to pay the purchase price plus interest because the bank want their money too. Okay. Um, you got to pay closing, all these other fees, you know, because it's an investment. On the other hand, an apartment, not an investment. Again, unless you're, you're purchasing the apartment. Um, apartment is generally month to month. Uh, with certain amenities so do you treat yourself like an like an apartment you know if somebody dates you or talking to you do they get all the amenities for one flat rate or are you a house is where they got to make uh you know different they got to deposit certain things you know you live a house uh, an apartment is you get 24 as if I remember correctly you is 24 hour maintenance maybe okay so that means you don't ever have to come out of pocket if there's a gas leak if there's a water leak you know if there's a fire uh, whatever situation that that don't come out of your pocket that's included in your rate that you pay every month when you buy a house you get a gas leak you gotta call somebody and they ain't open 24 hours the sum go down Water leak, pipe burst, toilet, uh, get jacked up. You got to call somebody. That's extra on top of what you pay every month. Plus, you pay house insurance. Okay? So, when you're a house, that means extra stuff. You got to have some extra. You got to be pulling some extra from somewhere at some point. Because some going to go around. So that means you gotta you dating someone. If you're a house, they gotta pay you interest. If they interested, they gotta pay interest. If by paying interest, that means you gotta pay time. You gotta pay me in conversation. You gotta pay me in dinner. You gotta pay me in thoughtfulness. You gotta pay me in kindness. You gotta pay me in consideration. You gotta pay me in feelings. You know, it's uh, it's an investment. Purchasing a house is an investment, a long-term investment. There's value in making an investment. There's a goal in your investment. Because your goal is to pay off your house or, you know, sell it. And if you're building equity, you can sell it for probably more than what you paid for it. Like if I were to sell my house right now, I would get double what I paid for it. But I'm not going to do that because I like my house. Rent. Is ongoing. There's no balance. There's no goal. You're not. There's nothing to pay off. It's a cycle. Every month, month to month, you pay rent. It's not going towards anything. There's, you're not building any equity. There's no. You're not building any value anywhere. There's no resale value. It's just month to month. So what are you worth? Again, let's be clear. This don't have nothing. I'm not talking about people who live in a house. Versus people who live in apartments. You live where you want to live. That's not not interested in that. That's not the point. The point is where is the value? Where do you place 
your value? How do you how do you treat yourself? What does your character say about you? What are your amenities? And are there is it all bills included? Or is somebody required to pay a little more? You know? So I think that's all I have to say. I think that's all I have to say. So, that's, oh, and another question. Who are you allowing in your residence? Now, that don't matter if you're a house or boy. Who do you allow to walk through your doors? Huh? Okay, I didn't, I ain't here. Huh? Sugar cake flow, please, hold out. <laughs>